More than 1,400 children of the roughly 2,500 separated at the U.S.-Mexican border have been reunited with their parents. That's according to a court filing on Thursday. Government officials say hundreds of other children were not eligible for reunification. In some cases, parents had criminal backgrounds and others have already been deported. Even though officials say everyone in an immigration detention center has been given notice of their rights and contact information for a lawyer, rights activists say some may have been coerced or misled into returning home. Like Douglas Almendares, who was separated from his son Eduardo in early June after crossing into the U.S. Days later, he was deported to Honduras with a promise he would be reunited with his son there, but 11-year-old Eduardo is still at a shelter in Texas. Schools, not cages. On Thursday, protesters across several cities in the U.S. marched against President Donald Trump's zero-tolerance immigration policy, which led to the forced separation. 